What's going on everybody? It's Jeff. Welcome back to the channel. It's Thursday. Currently right now AMC is down about 15% on the day. GameStop is down about 30% of the day. In this video, we're going to go over two things that people keep on reaching out to me and asking. One of them being, are retail traders starting to sell? And then also, when do the hedge funds have to cover their shorts? Okay, so stick around. You're not going to want to miss this. We're going to go over all of it. Let's get started. First off, guys, right now, let's look at AMC charts. It's down about 15% in the day. It continued to sell off. This is the five-day chart here. It's been continually trending down, hitting that newer low. It looks like it's bouncing on support about 760. You know, looking at my charts, there were there's some there were some huge buy orders on that 750 to 760 range that are getting filled. However, the you know, there's a lot of people that are day trading this, just playing this back and forth. And, and, and uh, you know, kind of making their small gains. The, the margins are very small, so I don't see that to be uh, continued for a very long period of time. At the beginning of the day, when volume gets a little bit high, potentially pre-market, that's a little more volatile, the percentage the percentage differences are there. But midday, especially later on uh, in the day, I don't see that continuing to be happening. However, that price is still sitting down around that 760 to 780 range, just kind of going back and forth. Um, I also want to say this, I'm sure, you know, a lot of you guys probably already noticed this, but Robinhood had increased the amount of shares and contracts you are allowed to have. That's always good news for us, for anybody that's getting restricted out. I know Weeble's right open. I Somebody had said to me that Stake, which was uh, previously... Uh, you know, had restrictions on it is wide open now, which is good. Uh, but guys, let's get into uh, what is exactly happening right now with the retail traders. So first off, I want to read this, guys. This article came out today. The GameStop tumble followed a large reduction in short interest on the stock, which measures how many of the company's shares have been borrowed to sell. Do we know if the short interest is low? Do we know if the shares are being covered? Not necessarily, guys. Don't forget that report is going to officially come out February 9th. I'm uh, very excited for it because it seems like I could just wait forever for it, um, wait forever for it. But we don't know if this is the media, this is by CBS News, the media pressing it, or if they actually had cover their shorts here. I do want to say this too, guys, that, it, right, read this, <laughs> that's highlighted. The stock price moves come amid growing evidence that some hedge funds have been playing both sides of the drama, meaning they're longing it, they're shorting it again, you know, they're, they're trading back into each other, doing the short ladder attacks, so... If this is still going on, one, they're going to be making money from it, too, you know, too, but it, it means the interest is still there, okay? Uh, so like I said, be patient for that February 9th. Here's the other concern that I get, too. Everybody's reaching out to me. Jeff, are you holding? Are you selling? Last time I said Friday, February 12th, what I have a $20 target on that day. People said, okay, well, does that mean when you hit $20, you're going to sell, you're going to be out? I never said that. Okay, I do not currently have a uh, sell limit on it or a price uh, when I'm going to sell. Okay, everybody, there is an end game, just like for everything. Everybody always have to have an exit strategy. You know, that's a fundamental I'm not going to break away from too. But here's an interesting article, guys, and I, I'm, I don't, re I really can't confidently say, oh, this is just the news trying to break people away from their focus, and that it's not really true because I do see this all over the internet, Twitter, and on Reddit too. GameStop shares. Fell for a third day as four in four as retail traders flock to other corners of the stock market, such as small drug developers. You you see that you see, you know, uh, SAVA, you, you know, Zom. There's a few other ones that are beginning to pop up that people are 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 trending over towards. They they feel like they missed the boat on the AMC, they missed the boat on the GameStop, and so forth. GameStop, I wouldn't say missed the boat on it. I can understand that when the price target was up in that 200 225 range, it was. Very high for, for many people, um, especially if they restricted buying fractional shares. So I can understand that. Okay, uh, AMC is a different boat. They that, that price target has always been very low. But right here, real tail traders using Reddit to, to uh, communicate about their bullish bets and outlooks have helped fuel rallies in Anavex Life Science Corp, Casa Vaza Sciences, which I just talked about, and Mankind Corporate. Okay, GameStop shares are also down 75% this week and have lost momentum. Now, I don't know, like I said, if that is just uh, the news trying to portray it, but yes, 
Reddit and Twitter, there are a lot of individuals that are getting in to these newer stocks, all right? So as much as I said yesterday, awesome, there's 8.5 million people in the you know Wall Street bets, which is where this all started in that in that Reddit forum, uh, we don't know where they're actually getting into. I do see people posting losses in you know uh, the GameStop and AMC, which is not good because you know like we talked about yesterday. You know Mark Cuban said if you can afford to hold, then hold. He's been through this before. Uh, he understands the power of it and so forth, okay? So I'm not going to tell anybody what to do. I'm not going to give you financial advice. I'm telling you I'm holding. However, everybody's in different financial positions and so forth. And just make sure you do your own diligence. And be patient too. Don't don't just be upset that you're at a loss and that you know, you're know you giving up because, you know what I mean? What's what's another 10% if you're already down 50% at that point? But that's my my opinion. Don't, you know, make sure you, uh, you got to do what's right for yourself. So let's get into this too, guys. Like I had said, February 9th is going to be the date for the short interest. And then let's talk about, I get this question all the time. How long does a short seller have before covering, right? So let's get into it, okay? First off, there are no standardized regulation relating to how just how long a short sale can last before closing out, right? There are no set of rules regarding how long a short sale can last before closing out. It is far more likely that the investor will close out the position before the lender will be forced to, for, for the position to be closed. I had mentioned that before they're forced to buy and, and so forth, okay? Here we go. Let's kind of get into this a little bit more, right? Um in practice, requests to return shares are rare as the lender of the shares is a brokerage firm that has a large inventory of stock. That's one. Two, the brokerage firms benefit greatly from short sales through the interest that they earn. That is what everybody is talking about, right, guys? The, the interest that they're paying on their shorts that they have not covered yet. Eventually, which we don't know how long that time is, okay? I think some of us think that it's a little bit sooner than it actually really is. I've seen calculations for saying that these brokerages can go, you know, up to 20 years before, you know, of paying interest before they're actually going to be able to cover their positions because they continue to accumulate money, they're making money in other other of their plays and so forth, but that's that's what we're hoping for that the interest begins to just outweigh and then eventually like you know what let's stop paying interest on this let's cover our positions and that's when the squeeze is going to happen okay this is an article by investopedia it's very simple go on google go on investopedia search what you're looking for be patient to read okay so i understand we all learn at different you know different points i'm not the smartest person out there nowhere you know will claim to be i'm sure there's plenty of people watching this video that have much more knowledge than i do about this however i feel like i can understand things at a very very simplistic basic level and i try to relate that to you guys okay so if you do find any value in that and appreciate it then please leave a like consider subscribing leave a comment down below let me know and i would you know any questions you have i'll be more than happy to try to help out and answer okay um I will reiterate this, guys, one more time. There are some cases in, when, in which the lender will force the position to be closed. And this is usually done when the position is moving in the opposite direction, meaning that the price is just continuing to spike, 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 and go higher. That m brings the likelihood of them returning the shares to be much less, okay? So if we look back at the AMC chart, guys, and we look under the five-day chart, let me exp expand this out and move over a little bit, okay? Um I would not say that any of these were forced to be closed because if you look, it was up $4, $4, $5, $5. Within one day, it went up to that $11, $12 range. One more day, it went up to the $22. And then it, it was very, very quickly in a matter short, short of time, guys. Look at this. This is the 27th, the 28th. And then we're back, right? So these institutions, these brokerages are not going to say, all right, guys, give me my money back. Give me my, you know, cover your, your shorts, cover your shorts. If it was continuing to trend over time, over time, months, if it got to the $20 range, got to the $30 range, got to the $40 range, over a two-month period of time, I can see that force happening. And not this quickly because they understand there can be spikes and it comes back down, which as you see, it did. GameStop was a little bit different. It definitely did continue to trend a little bit higher. It stayed at that 40 to 50, got to 70, 80, it didn't spike, but it was still very, very quick. And we know that having, you know, eight, nine figure, or, you know, sorry, uh, uh, t sorry, 11, 10, 11 figures, okay, in assets under management for some of these huge hedge funds that paying, you know, 100 million in interest, 200 million in interest, is so forth, is not a huge break. I know it's a lot of money to us guys, but when you have that much behind you and you got to think if you can make two, 3% a month in their portfolio, it's going to cover that and then some their decision to do so has got to be weighed greater. So let's pay very close attention, guys. Hold out until that February 9th date. I believe when we can finally get another accurate of how, what the percentage is of short interest 
Okay, and how many shares are shorted in both of these stocks? That's when we're really gonna see where is this going, where is this gonna, you know, you know, trending to go. And then on top of it, too, if there is positive news on it, if the percentage is still high, maybe not as high, but still high, we know that 30, 40% is already high. So we might have to we might not have to hit that 80 to 120% like we were at. That's gonna bring in another you know hope of new buyers. So you know, I'm hanging on to this, guys. You know, I also believe that the fact that the company had, you know, currently sold off his debt, there's, there's, you know, renewed, um, you know, vaccine story, you know, or, or vaccine. Uh, vaccines are coming out even quicker uh and then renew talks about the stimulus as well which is going to bring we know stimulus brings more money to the table more money that you know individual small guys can invest in the market as well as you know more money that people can go out and spend so you know it all depends on what state you're in i'm in connecticut we, we're a little bit locked down but like i said it all varies so guys that's it for this video i'm going to continue to cover this a little bit i'm also going to go back to my other ways of trying to talk about the other stocks the fundamental stocks that i've gotten away from uh you know cciv had a big power I, we, I told everybody about my, my portfolio. I had 777 shares. I was down on it for a little while because I bought it in, I think, that $24, $25 range. But now I got up to a little bit positive, which is kind of cool. But I'm still I'm still positive on that merger. I'm hoping it's not merger. I believe Lucid's got to close. So, But I'm going to start talking about other stocks. It's not just going to be this. But, um, guys, that's it for this video. I appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to join the journey. And I'll see you in the next one.